Hi, thanks for tuning in to my Confessions of a Reform Control Freak podcast. My name is Brian Smith, and if I've learned anything at all in my 40-plus year career as general manager for a major retailer, college professor, and an award-winning entrepreneur, it's this. You aren't born knowing how to manage and lead others. Managing and leading others is a learned behavior. I believe you can learn how to communicate and interact more effectively, build collaborative teams, resolve conflict, and motivate others to perform at their personal best. My podcasts are ideal for first-time supervisors, managers, business leaders, or those looking to be promoted into a leadership role in their organization. Seasoned veterans will also benefit from tuning in. I'll give you my take on the ins and outs of today's business world and share some tips and techniques to help you develop those kinds of skills needed to manage and lead others the 21st century way. There is no question that if I knew then what I know now, I would have led others differently. After listening to my Confessions of Reform Control Free Podcasts, I hope you will manage and lead others differently as well. Today's topic, we need leaders who we can trust and believe in. What does it say about the world we live in when we question the honesty and integrity of the people in leadership? positions, both in government and the private sector. What does it say about the world we live in when governments need to pass laws requiring chief executive officers and chief financial officers of corporations to sign off on their company's financial results, and if found to be false, they can face criminal prosecution? Now, more than ever, we need leaders who we can trust and believe in. Leaders walk their talk. In true leaders, there is no gap between the theories they espouse and their practice. Warren Bennis What does it say about a leader if they behave one way in public and behave a different way behind closed doors? Does that mean there's two types of ethics, business and personal? If there are two kinds of ethics, does that mean it's okay to lie, cheat, and con your customers' employees, but not your family and friends? At times, it must get awful confusing for leaders to remember what hat they're supposed to be wearing. In organizations where people trust and believe in each other, They don't get into regulating coercing behaviors. They don't need a policy for every mistake. People in these trusting environments respond with enormous commitment and creativity. Walter Richten What are ethical or unethical behaviors? How should a leader behave? I believe leaders need to keep their word and honor their commitments. Leaders don't just promise to stick up for people and have their back, but they actually do it. Leaders don't just preach fairness, they practice it. And they don't just counsel others about honesty and integrity, they live it every day, both in public and behind closed doors. What they say and what they do are congruent. They are one and the same. You can't be ethical some of the time. You must be ethical all of the time. You can't be ethical at home and not at work or vice versa. You're either ethical or you're not. Today, we need leaders we can trust and believe in. You've been listening to my Confession of a Reform Control Free podcast. Thank you for tuning in. Leave me a message. Let me know what you think of this episode. If you're looking for answers to questions about the challenges you face managing and leading others, you can contact me directly at brian at briansmithpld.com. 
to print out a hard copy of this or any of my podcast episodes, visit my website at briansmithpld.com. Are you or someone you know looking for a keynote speaker, corporate trainer, or executive coach? Please give me a call. I work with people who want to learn how to communicate and interact more effectively, build collaborative teams, resolve conflict, or motivate others to perform at their personal best. All three of my published books are available for purchase on Amazon, both in print and e-reader formats. Want to stay connected? You can follow me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks for tuning in to my Confessions of a Reform Control Freak podcast. And most importantly, have yourself one heck of a great day.